Hi, we're going to be talking about angle pair uh, relationships. So what you need to know is that we're talking about pairs of angles. So it's only going to be two angles in the set. Adjacent angles are two angles that are adjacent and have a common side. We have a common side and a common vertex, which is A, and do not overlap. So let's talk about what adjacent is. So if I ask you to identify the adjacent angles, you would say that you have angle CAN and angle NAT. So those would be your adjacent angles. Now your non-adjacent angles are a second example. We would see CAN is not adjacent to CAT. Okay, next, complementary angles. Two angles are called complementary angles if sum of their degree measurements equals 90 degrees, which means a right angle. So let's make a right angle. Usually so have that little square and we have A, B, C, and D. What this is saying is angle A, B, C is added to C, B, D, and that is gonna equal 90 degrees. Next, you have supplementary angles. Two angles are called supplementary angles if the sum of their measures measurements equals 180 degrees. So we know it's gonna be a line and you can have all sorts of different angles that equal supplementary, but remember you can only have a set of two. So let's say we label these. And what we are saying is angle E, F, G, when added to G, F, H, will be 180 degrees. Okay, next we have, excuse me, we have a linear pair. Now, two adjacent angles are a linear pair if their non-common sides form opposite rays. So we have opposite rays on the non-common side. And remember, adjacent, that's gonna mean next to. Okay, next you have vertical angles. Two pairs of angles are formed by two intersecting lines. So that means you're gonna have a point of intersection. The vertical angles are opposite. Angles in such an intersection, we already know, and vertical angles are equal to each other. So this is the important part. So let's name some segments. A, B, C, D, and we're gonna call the center R. So what I know here is that I have angle a, R, C is congruent to angle C, R, D. I also know that angle C, R, A is congruent to angle D, R, B. Okay, so let's look at the example. It says, are angles one and two a linear pair? So angles one and two, they're next to each other. That's gonna be yes. Are four and five a linear pair? They're next to each other but they don't form 180 degrees, so that's gonna be no. Name another linear pair, two and three are linear pair. 
are five and three vertical angles. Five and three. No. They have to be exactly the same measure. Those are not the same measure. Are one and three vertical angles. One and three. They're exactly the same. So that's going to be a yes. And then it says if measure of angle five is 60 degrees and it says a measure of angle four is a right angle which we know is 90 degrees what is the measure of angle two that would be the same because they are vertical angles so that would be 90 plus 60 equals 150 that would be the measurement